Good afternoon. Our first item of business today is time for reflection. And our time for reflection leader is the Right Reverend Bruce Cameron, Perth, retired bishop and the former chair of Faith in Older People. Thank you, presiding officer. Um, Victor Hugo, the 19th French novelist, wrote, whenever a man's friends begin to compliment him about looking young, he may be sure that they think he's growing old. Fifteen years ago, I stood here giving a time of reflection. I note there's some familiar faces around, and I must compliment you on how young you're looking. <laughs> growing old may, for, for some, be a subject we would rather avoid. Yet after 12 years of retirement, I have a more positive me message, maybe like Ingrid Bergman, who said, getting old is like climbing a mountain. You get a little out of breath, but the view is much better. And this has been due to my involvement with an organization called Faith in Older People, and of which some of you I know are familiar. It celebrated its 10th anniversary last year, and it's committed to the increasing the awareness of a spiritual dimension in people's lives beyond any particular religious belief. Rather, it speaks to the inner search that human beings have for meaning and purpose to their lives. Faith in older people encourages us first to celebrate the contribution of older people to society, but also to have a sensitive caring for those debilitated by illness. And over these past 10 years, we've held workshops, courses, conferences, and research projects often in partnership with other bodies. Sometimes older people can come across as a, a particular problem. We're all living longer. We're making greater demands of the NHS or care services. And then there's those bus passes and free television licenses. And sometimes they all contribute to an attitude that old people are becoming a greater economic burden. Now important, as the issues are, and I know you are all involved in that, sometimes I think that attitude can give the impression of diminishing the value of the older person. There was a recent television program that showed nursery and child, school, primary school children going into care homes, and it reflected how both seemed to get so much learning and enjoyment through that interchange. The founder of Faith in Older People, the late Malcolm Goldsmith, wrote two books that were focused on the care of people with dementia. But he wanted to stress that we have to be aware how we think of that, where, which word we stress. Do we think about the, pers the person with dementia or the person with dementia? For our care, above all, needs to be person-centered. And is there not, not a lesson for us all there? It invites us to look beyond age or illness to the intrinsic value of each individual person. But let me end with one more quote on a lighter note. Remember, you don't stop laughing because you grow old. You grow old because you've stopped laughing. <laughs>